Hey, in today's video, I'm gonna show you the three best ways to lock up hard to lock hair. All right guys, the number one thing is swimming or you know, obviously just washing your hair, but mine is swimming and washing hair. And the reason I do that is because clean hair is the best way to lock up your hair. Um, so this is for any hair. It's best to have your hair prepped in order to get dreadlocks. And if you're getting dreadlocks and you're in the progress of actually getting them, um, keep them clean. And the best way to keep them clean is to wash your hair. And one thing I like to do is swim. And with swimming comes the chlorinated water, which if you guys don't know what chlorine is, it's a sanitizer, which is actually a cleaner. That's why you get pools that are perfectly clean. And geez, this is the best my pool has ever looked because I put a lot of work into it after we had this major storm. But that's besides the point. And yeah, clean hair is the best hair to lock up because you don't have any gunk or any buildup in it. And that's just the best thing to do for your hair is to keep it clean. And that's one of the things I like to do. I would say the number two thing is not only clean hair, but dry hair. And chlorine actually dries out the hair. Same thing with washing the hair, it dries out the hair. And if you live by the ocean, I would recommend going in the salt water because that dries out your hair as well. But swimming is one of the number ones because anybody can do it. Um, if you don't have a pool, go to your city pool. If you don't have a city pool, then go to your apartment pool or whatever. You, if you have a friend, um, that's the best way to do it. Obviously, if you don't have a pool at all, just wash your hair and make sure it's super clean. I recommend washing it very often and just clean hair is the best hair. Keep it prepped. What's interesting right now, it rained all night. It's really early right now. And the water is actually warmer than it is outside, so it's really nice, it's really comfortable. Oh, all right guys, I'm done with the swim for today. And like I said, chlorine really helps clean and dry out the hair, but also right after swimming, always make sure that you wash your hair, which that's what I'm actually about to go do right now. I'm gonna go hop in the shower. And it's like really cold out here, but the pool is really warm, so it's really nice. Yeah, I'm gonna go shower, wash my hair really good. And then I'm gonna show you guys the second best way to lock, hard to lock hair. So right after I hopped out of the shower, guys, I made sure to brush my teeth. Today I'm gonna to be using my M Teeth X5 Series Rechargeable Sonic Toothbrush. I'm telling you guys, this is honestly the best toothbrush I've ever used. I've used battery powered electric toothbrushes before and they really aren't as powerful as this one. This toothbrush comes with three modes and the one thing that's really cool is it comes with a two minute timer, which is the prime length of time for you to actually brush your teeth. Now the head of the toothbrush has DuPont bristles, which are really perfect for cleaning your teeth properly. Now I know brushing your teeth seems like a day-to-day -day thing, and of course it's pretty redundant, but one thing I noticed about brushing my teeth with the My Teeth Rechargeable Sonic Toothbrush is it almost makes brushing teeth fun. And while brushing my teeth, I realized that a manual toothbrush just doesn't get the job done as good as this. Using this toothbrush feels like I'm at the dentist and they're working on my teeth. That's how great this toothbrush is. Now, since I like this toothbrush so much, make sure to click the link down below. So to add on top of that, the X5 will last up to three months on a single charge. With its densely packed DuPont Extra Soft bristles, the MT toothbrush offers an optimal comfort and meets various oral care needs. Now, I mentioned the three cleaning modes. They have the sensitive mode, which is the extra gentle two minutes mode for sensitive teeth and gums. Then they also have the clean mode, which I like to use, the ultimate in plaque removal, lasts for two minutes and it includes four quad pacer intervals. And also they have the white mode, which I use every so often, which has sonic vibration with an alternate amplitudes to remove plaques and stains and whiten teeth. I really like this toothbrush because it's very simple and it really works perfect for my teeth. And to top all of that off, it is a very effective toothbrush and it has very low sound so that your head's not rumbling the entire time you're brushing your teeth. So like I said, if you wanna get this toothbrush like me, make sure to click the link down below and get yourself one. Now after brushing my teeth, I did eat a little bit of breakfast and I allowed my hair to dry a little bit. So my hair is still damp, but it is dry for the most part. This time around, I did a little bit of towel drying and then also allowed it to air dry afterward. 
And when I towel dry, I just put the towel over my head and pat dry and then allow it to kind of just drip throughout the day. And obviously if you pat dry, you're not dripping a whole lot. But the number two best way to lock up hard to lock hair is one of my favorites. It's my all time favorite and it's my all time favorite tool. It's the most reliable tool and you guys probably already guessed it. It is the Great Locks Crochet Hook. I'm gonna be opening this and I'm going to actually instantly lock up a couple of my dreadlocks that I've been looking at for a couple weeks now that have just really been hard to lock up. Now, hard to lock hair isn't always necessarily straight hair or wavy hair. Sometimes it's any type of hair, but just hard to lock locations. So for instance, the sides and the back of the head typically wanna lock up first and they lock up the quickest and the fastest because A, you're sleeping, and that's where most of the traction and the friction happen when it's rubbing up against the pillow and more pressure is being pressed on it. Or if you're wearing a hat, all the pressure goes around the sides and the back of your head. But the top of your head really doesn't get much love when it comes to any of those areas. So I like to even out the look of the dreadlocks by using my Great Locks crochet hooks. So I'm gonna open this up and then I'm gonna show you how easy it is to lock up these dreadlocks instantly. So these are the two dreadlocks I recently did on my last video. And I'm kind of doing a little series of catching up the top of my head with the rest of my head. So this is kind of what this video is for as well because I've been struggling with my hair not locking up as quick as I would like it to, especially on the top of my head. So I'm gonna show you guys right now how easy it is to lock your hair up instantly with this and I'm gonna show you before and after. So since this dreadlock's on the hairline, I definitely wanna get this one locked up. This makes everything easier when it comes to doing hairstyles and so on and so forth. But you guys can see with the hair damp, like this is not a dreadlock all the way down to the tip. Like the tip is, I mean, kind of buttered up, but not even really. So you guys can see how this is literally not a dreadlock. So what I'm gonna do is take this, it's already in a section, which is good to go. So take that section and I'm going to twist it as if I'm doing twisting with gel, making sure, well, I actually feel that, well, no, I was gonna say that the root feels like it's locked up, but it's not. But yeah, I'm twisting this as if I'm doing twisting with gel. Make sure the roots are pretty tight. Now I'm gonna leave the lock like this. Now I'm going to go in with the crochet hook and I'm using it as I always, I've always shown you. So if you wanna see more detail on how to properly use this, you can watch the last video I just uploaded. But yeah, I'm gonna show you how literally, how it looked right there. My hair is a little damp, which I actually would recommend using the crochet hook because it eliminates breakage. Your hair tends to flex a little bit more when it's damp. Now don't do this while your hair is soaking wet because it's really not gonna be beneficial, but I would definitely recommend with your hair being a little bit damp, but I'm just, creating the lock as I go. I will say that doing this with your hair dry makes it a little faster, but this is a little bit safer since this is more of a beginner based video. We wanna be as safe as possible. So guys, just like that, this is the dreadlock I was working on and boom, it looks just like these other two that I just finished doing last week. And I mean, it's really just like that. This one actually needs some root maintenance because you can see how it's a little flexy. This one's more mature. And this one's mature because I just finished it, but this one has more stretch to it. That's how you know that the roots aren't completely locked up, which I'm about to show you how to handle that as well. But I am going to crochet hook another dreadlock here shortly. But before I do that, I wanna take you on a step number three on the best method to lock up hard to lock hair. The third best way is the Great Locks interlock tool. This is better than you know a sewing or a normal interlock tool because this doesn't get caught on the hair, doesn't have anything to get hung up on. You guys can see, look at that. Like it's very, it's just you know straight to the point. It has a little curve to it. It's supposed to be like that so that you can thread it through, just like sewing almost. But I'm gonna show you how to properly use this, especially on this flexi dreadlock. So. First things first, take the loop, see how there's a big hole and then it goes into a smaller loop. Gonna press the tip through there. All right, simple as that, got the tip through. What I'm gonna do, since there's quite a bit of new growth, I'm going to thread it through either east or west. Make sure you go through the base of the root. So I got that through, pull that tight. Now I'm going to go north. I'm actually gonna go south because I'm gonna do two pass-throughs. So I'm go I went south, now I'm gonna go east because I went west first time. You always go through so that you can close off the last interlock. And always make sure that you're just going through that lock. I feel like that's actually pretty good. 
So that's tight all the way down to the root now. You can see that's less flexy. That's tight all the way down to the root. This one is completely locked up. I wanted to do this one as well, so I'm gonna run it through really quick. When I run it through, I run it through touching my scalp. And when you pull it tight, you pull it all the way down. But you do get the tightest lock when you go all the way to the scalp. What I mean by to the scalp is pretty much running the tip of this on the, on the base all the way down. So you feel it rubbing on your scalp. Obviously you don't poke your scalp, but there's that one. You can see how those roots are way more maintained. This is what interlock does. It makes the roots look more maintained versus this one that's not interlocked, it's not as tight. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys those two. There are obviously some more dreadlocks that I need to crochet hook on the top because look how much different this looks than these ones that are more mature on the side. But you guys seen how right there, just with you know two tools, you can make dreadlocks look really good exactly the way that you want them to. And this only took me a couple minutes. And honestly, if I was not filming this video and I was just paying attention to what I'm doing and focused, I could literally knock those out in maybe, maybe 20 seconds to 30 seconds per dreadlock, especially at my hair length. Now interlocking is a lot quicker because all you have to do is just thread it through the roots and that can take like 20 to 30 seconds. Crochet hooking can take a little bit longer, I would say 30 seconds to a minute per dreadlock. But I mean, that pays off. The Great Locks Crochet Hook is definitely worth it if you wanna instantly lock up your hair, and so is the interlock tool. That's why I recommend the locking bundle, which is linked down below. And it saves you hundreds to even thousands of dollars on your dreadlocks for just a small cost. Because if you're to use other products, you're gonna be spending money on products over and over and over again versus a tool that you only have to buy once. Or spending money on going to a loctician, which is literally hundreds of dollars to go and get it all done. So I recommend getting these tools. So link to those is down below. But you guys, that is three easy ways to lock up hard to lock hair. I am gonna put my hair into a hairstyle and I think that's gonna be my next video. If you guys wanna see that, make sure to comment down below. I'm gonna try something new. I've been in the hairstyle in a really long time and I haven't maintained my hair in about, I would say three weeks. And I definitely do need some maintenance because my hair is kind of all over the place, especially down at the roots. So I'm gonna do a hairstyle that's gonna keep my roots very maintained. So stay tuned for a video on that. And I'm actually almost at a year mark of growing out my hair. And I just need, I think, 60 more days and it's gonna be an entire year of taking a picture every single day of what my hair is looking like as time progresses. So I'm gonna have a video out really soon on what that entire process looked like of taking a picture every single day of my hair growth. But it really has been an awesome journey. And I thank you guys so much for tuning along with me to see how everything is going. I do wanna make a quick announcement. We did do a rebrand on The Lock Doctor and really cool videos are coming out on there because The Lock Doctor is solely about showing you guys how to make your dreadlocks look great. We still will be answering questions on there, but it's gonna be a little bit more in the future. But that channel is solely about how to get your hair with certain methods. No fluff around it, no vlogs around it. It's literally just a video showing you how to make dreadlocks. And we post videos twice a week, so make sure to go check out The Lock Doctor. Link to that is down below. I also wanna mention this in this video as well, that if you want any coaching or you want me to teach you how to get dreadlocks personally to where you guys can literally text me and say, hey, this is what my hair is looking like and I wanna fix my hair, how do I do it? And so on and so forth. And I show you how to do dreadlocks your, yourself and you get the locking bundle for free. Make sure to go to greatlocks.com and get the Great Locks Masterclass. You can join the class and we literally have hundreds of students now. So it's really cool to see that. So yeah, if you need help, make sure to do that. The link is down below as well. But you guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Hopefully you guys do an amazing day. Matter of fact, have a great day. Peace and God bless.